building? Hi, teacher. All right, how are you? How are you doing? Okay. All right, so good. Uh, just a second, my internet is non stable. Sorry, what did you say? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, better now. All right, so we're going to have our class. Are you ready? Okay, sure. Okay, sure, great. All right, then, um, as what we have talked about last time, we're going to have tests. And before we have tests, uh, let me just ask some questions from you. Uh, what can you remember with our class last time? What is our topic? What is the topic? Can you tell me? Yeah. What we have talked yes, uh, last Wednesday? What? What have we talked about last Wednesday? What is our topic? Mm, I don't know. Okay, we have different kind of tests on like reading, speaking and speaking and writing. That's what we have. Okay, speaking and writing. Okay, if you can remember. All right. So the test that you're going to have is actually test four. Okay, this is your fourth regular test. Okay. 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 So let me just get the test and so that you can start. For the test, there will be three parts. Reading, uh, sorry, the first one is listening, then reading and writing, and finally speaking, okay? Okay. All right, um, it's best if you have pen and paper on with you. Do you have pen and paper? Can you show it to me? Yeah. Okay, good, that's great. All right, so since you're ready, so maybe we can start. Let me share my screen. Feeling. So we're going to start with listening. So you know this one, very easy. You're just going to put a line, um, lines with the names that are provided on the screen. Okay? Okay. So uh, let's start. Can you hear it? No, not yet. Let me share the sound. Can you hear it now? Yes. Okay, good. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, Mr. Parrot. Here's a photo of my friends in the snow. It's a fantastic picture. Yes. Look, there's my sister, Julia. She's taking a photo. Yes, of the penguin. It was very funny. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's that? Do you mean the boy on the ice? That's my friend Charlie. He's skating. Is he good at that? No, he isn't. He falls a lot. So do I. Two. Can you see the girl in the yellow hat? Which one? The one on the mountain? Yes. That's Zoe. She's my sister. She's going very quickly. I know. She's really brave. Three. Who's that boy? 
Oh, you mean Jim? He's my brother's best friend. Oh, is he? That's good. What's he eating? He's got some noodles because he's always hungry. Mmm, I love those. Four. Look, can you see the boy who's sitting in the snow? Yes. Who's he? He's called Paul. He's making a man out of snow. Yes, it's brilliant. Five. And is that Claire, the girl with a hot drink? Yes, she's drinking some hot chocolate. That's nice in this weather. Yes, it is. They're all having fun. It's a great picture. Thanks. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's that? Do you mean the boy on the ice? That's my friend Charlie. He's skating. Is he good at that? No, he isn't. He falls a lot. So do I. Two. Can you see the girl in the yellow hat? Which one? The one on the mountain? Yes. That's Zoe. She's my sister. She's going very quickly. I know. She's really brave. Three. Who's that boy? Oh, you mean Jim? He's my brother's best friend. Oh, is he? That's good. What's he eating? He's got some noodles because he's always hungry. Mmm, I love those. Four. Look, can you see the boy who's sitting in the snow? Yes. Who's he? He's called Paul. He's making a man out of snow. Yes, it's brilliant. Alright, Lee, so you're finished. Do you have the answers already? Ling? Yes. All right. So let me just save the answer. Just give me a second. A second, please. I'm saving it. Five. All right, so we can continue. Okay. So for this one, um, Ling, uh, I want you to listen and choose the correct answer. So this is very simple. All right, so let's start number one. One. What does Fred want to eat? Do you want some lunch now, Fred? Yes, please, Mum, but not salad. I'd like cheese sandwiches again. We had those yesterday. Let's have some nice tomato soup. No, I don't want that, Mum. Oh, Fred. Let's listen one. one more time. What does Fred want to eat? Do you want some lunch now, Fred? Yes, please, Mum, but not salad. I'd like cheese sandwiches again. We had those yesterday. Let's have some nice tomato soup. No, I don't want that, Mum. Oh, Fred. 
Feeling. So your answer is what? What do you call that? What is letter C? Ling, can you tell me what is letter C? It's sandwich. What kind of sandwich? What do you call it? Yes. What sandwich is that? Sandwich. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the next part. Where is the cat? Two. Where is the cat? Where's the cat, Mary? I don't know. Is she sleeping on your bed again? No, she isn't there. Sometimes she sits on the sofa, but she isn't there now. Look, there she is. She's asleep on top of Mum's laptop. <laughs> That's funny. Let's listen again. Two. Where is the cat? Where's the cat, Mary? I don't know. Is she sleeping on your bed again? No, she isn't there. Sometimes she sits on the sofa, but she isn't there now. Look, there she is. She's asleep on top of Mum's laptop. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so Ling, what is your answer? It's letter. What letter is that? Letter A. Okay. And what is it then? What is it again? What is letter A, Ling? Yeah. What is letter A? In her, her mom's laptop. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the next part. Number three. Three. What is Lily doing now? What's Lily doing? She's making a lot of noise upstairs. Is she practicing her singing? No, she isn't. She's reading her book. But why is she so loud? <laughs> Lily isn't making any noise. Dad's listening to the radio. Three. What is Lily doing now? What's Lily doing? She's making a lot of noise upstairs. Is she practicing her singing? No, she isn't. She's reading her book. But why is she so loud? <laughs> Lily isn't making any noise. Dad's listening to the radio. So what is Lily doing now? Your answer is? To radio. Is it Lily who's listening to the radio? So letter A? Yes. Okay. Let's go for number four. Radio. Four. What did Peter do today? Did you have a good day at school, Peter? Yes, Dad. I scored a goal when we played hockey. Well done. And what's this? It's my model tractor. We made them yesterday. It's great. And is this your book about the moon and the stars? Yes. I've got to read it for Friday. I can start tomorrow. Let's listen one more time. Radio. 
Four. What did Peter do today? Did you have a good day at school, Peter? Yes, Dad. I scored a goal when we played hockey. Well done. And what's this? It's my model tractor. We made them yesterday. It's great. And is this your book about the moon and the stars? Yes. I've got to read it for Friday. I can start tomorrow. Okay. Lane, what's your answer? B. That uh, B, what is it? Peter reading the comic book. Okay, Peter is reading a comic book. Okay, good. Next go. Number five. Arrow. Five. What is the weather like today? It's my birthday party today, Dad. Let's look at the weather. Oh, no. What's the matter, Daisy? It's cloudy, Dad. I want to have my birthday party in the garden. Well, we can. It isn't raining. But it's windy, too. That's OK. It isn't cold outside. Let's listen one more time. Arrow. Five. What is the weather like today? It's my birthday party today, Dad. Let's look at the weather. Oh, no. What's the matter, Daisy? It's cloudy, Dad. I want to have my birthday party in the garden. Well, we can. It isn't raining. But it's windy, too. That's OK. It isn't cold outside. All right. So, Ling, what's your answer for number five? It's letter... It's letter A. And can you describe letter A? What is that? It's rainy and windy. Rainy and windy. Okay. Now we're going to task three. We're going to move to reading and writing. Okay, so look and read. Choose the correct letter or words and write them on the lines. There is one example, okay? So this person sometimes works in the field. So you can see on the picture, uh, there are pictures here and the most appropriate one is a farmer, okay? So you understood, right? So let's start. Very easy. Okay, can you read number one? Ling, read number one, this part. This part of your body is at the top of your arm, the oh. shoulder. Okay, your answer is a shoulder. Good job. Next. Number two. Read number two, please. In, in stories, the person sells around the world is a big ship, a pirate. Okay, your answer is a pirate. Thank you. Let's go to number three. The present was with nurse in a hospital, a doctor. Okay, your answer is a doctor. Number four. You can find this in your you mouth. You can find this. You can find this in your mouth. It's white. Okay, what's that? Very good. It's a tooth. Good job. And last, number five. 
This animal moves quickly. It can jump very well. A kangaroo. A kangaroo. All right. So that's finished. Now we're going to read about Vicky. So I want you to read it slowly, Ling, uh, silently. Read it silently. Okay, so try to find your answers first. And if you're finished, tell me, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, Ling? Okay. Okay, so I'll wait for you.
Are you sure now with your answers? Lynn? Lynn, can you hear me? Yeah. Are you sure now with your answers? It was Vicky's birthday last Saturday. Her aunt talked her to the child can too. She wants to, to present Vicky a new video for her birthday. They went to Vicky's favorite shop. Vicky wanted a blue video, but uh, the blue ones were too small. Earlier, said her aunt, what about the red one? It's nice, so, said Vicky, but I don't need another red sweater because nice a sweater that fits Vicky right. Vicky was very entertained. Let's go to the new coffee. We can have a glass of lemonade and we can also have some cake. Her aunt shocked. Vicky has some chocolate cake and a green. Vicky enjoyed her chocolate cake and green so she did not want to do any more shopping. When they got home, Vicky grandma walked there. Happy birthday, Vicky. She said, and give two a letter to open. It's what a beautiful, good blue sweater. If you really thank you, Grandma, that the sweater I really want. All right, so that's great, Link. So your answers are. Number one, shop. Number two, thirsty. Number three, glass. Number four, blanket. And number five, left. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So let's continue. All right. Now choose the best name for the story. Oh my God. What's the best name for the story? Pardon. Sorry. Again. What's your answer? I cannot hear you. Look again. What do you mean again? You want to read again? Yeah. Okay, uh, so read again, sure, uh, if you want, but tell me the best name for the story. So this is the only question now. So you have three choices. The understanding. Is mom's new clothes. Okay, your answer is mom's new clothes. All right, so now let's go to speaking part. All right, so there are pictures here and I want you to tell me which one is different, okay? So I'm going to give you one minute to look at it first. Then after that, I want you to provide me your answer, okay? okay. Think first.
All right, Ling, so you can say your answer now. Is run. Can you say, uh, I mean, describe each picture first. Describe the picture one by one. Can you do it? Can you describe the pictures one by one? Yeah. Okay, can you do it? It's picture one. One, one house. Okay, uh, describe it. What is the boy doing? Boy is running. Okay, and the picture two? Picture is... Dance. Okay, she is dancing and she's dancing ballet. Okay, what about the third picture? They are dancing too. The picture two, three, and four. They are dancing. Okay, they're dancing. Okay. okay. Next. And the fourth picture. The fourth picture. Can you describe this one, Ling? The fourth picture, Ling, what is this? There are also dancing right and they are dancing in a disco okay it's a disco dancing this is ballroom dancing this is ballet all right so now let's go so which of in the uh, re describe the pictures one by one again what is this what is this what is this what is this then tell me which one is different okay Ling. All right then, so can you describe it now? Can you answer now, Ling, the first part, this four? Which okay. one is different? Is the water, glass of the water. Glass of water? Okay, describe the picture first. What is this? It's ice cream. This one? Is water? It's a milkshake. What? Okay, what about this one? Sorry? It's a cake. Yes. What about this one? It's a, it's a pasta, right? 
Okay. So which one is different here? Is Two. Sorry, number two. Can you tell me why? Why it's different? Yeah. Sorry, it's. I don't know. It's different because. It's a drink. It's a drink. Okay, so it's a drink. So. Okay, good. What about the next part? Can you think? Uh, can you describe the pictures one by one here? This is the, the picture one, the city. Yes. Which, what is this? This is a city. Next, what is this? It's a yeah. It's a, what is it? Yeah. Okay, it's a chair or it's a round table. Okay, what else? It's a tissue. A tissue or a picture frame, okay. right? A picture frame. Next. It's a clock. It's a clock. Okay, now tell me which one is different. It's a Clock. Sorry, it's a. It's clock. This one. Can it's you tell clock. me why the clock? Oh, can you tell me why the clock is different? Um, why is the clock different? Um. Yeah, now it's, it is, uh, hmm. Why is the clock different? Why is the clock different? Ling? I don't know. It's different because Why is the clock? Why? Why you just do the clock? I mean, look, this is circle. This is round. This is round. This is round, and this is square. Why you don't choose this one? The shape is different, right? Okay. Okay. Now let's go to the next part. Okay. Now I want you to continue the story here. For this time, um, kindly look at it carefully. So the title is Fred and the Tiger. Can you read it? Fred's watching. Fred, Fred's watching a piece about tiger, which is that he's saying. Mm -hmm. And lying the big yellow eyes. Okay. Now look at the picture. So can you tell me? the next story okay so try to think first then if you're finished tell me if you're ready okay then, yeah. my yellow eyes. <laughs> and he is soft. When he sleeps mm -hmm. in the window, it is in the two eyes and yellow. No. Okay. Arne, next.
picture phone. Went to the room. Went to the room and say, this is a, a cat. Okay. All right. So is that how you want to end the story, Ling? Is that the end of the story? Ling? Well, if that's the end, so, okay, I think I think you've done good. Thank you very much for your answers. Okay, for the meantime, Ling, so I appreciate your answers. Okay, so good job. I'm going to check it first, then I will send the results after. Okay, so it, since it's already, it's just a test, uh, we can have an early break. So I can dismiss you early and we can extend next time. Okay, Ling, is that okay? We're going to end now. All right, so thank you very much for coming to class. So enjoy your week end and let us see each other on Monday. Okay, see you, bye-bye. Goodbye, teachers. Goodbye, goodbye.